There's a whole other set of options, which we call the hidden menu. And I'm going to show you how to get into it. Not that I recommend it normally, but uh, it's a good way to understand certain things. So I'm going to hit the other button, and then 443. And the first thing that comes up is number of thermocouples. And I'm going to hit enter if I want to go in there, and if I don't, I would just hit the other button and get into some other things. And this will just scroll me back to the um, beginning of that. So I'm back to number of thermocouples. I hit enter. It says I have three thermocouples programmed, which means that it is a three zone control. If I want to change this to a single zone control, I just hit one and then enter. And I want to show you something interesting. If I go into the other menu now, notice that the word lag never comes up. Okay? So now I can just exit out of this menu, go into other, 443, number of thermocouples. I'm going to change that back to where it was. And that's that. Now once I've done that, I've exited that that hidden menu and if I want to get into some of the other options I need to hit the other button and go through it again. I'm not going to get into all of those options but they are covered in the instruction manual and uh, there are some uh, some very useful things in there. There is one thing I do want to show you which is useful for anybody is hit other 443 and I'm going to keep scrolling through and this is diagnostic. If I hit that, what it's going to do is turn on the elements in the top zone for about, I don't know, for some small amount of time, but long enough for you to see whether your elements are firing. And that tells you whether that entire circuit is working. And it will now just cycle through output one, two, and three. And then you can open up the kiln. You know, be very, very careful about this because it is live electricity. But you can open up your kiln, look inside, and see whether your elements are getting red. Now I can actually scroll through this manually if I want to. But if you just leave it alone, it will um, go through this automatically and if you keep your eyes on the elements you can see whether your circuits are, are operating properly.